This is Johnny from Jaffa Cowboy. We're at Download Festival, and you're watching Metal Hammer TV. I want to talk to you about the lyrics. Yeah. That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about where is it and why, okay, why is it necessarily you want to, like, the whole sort of dystopian future, implants, nanotechnology, why is it that necessarily that you're putting into the sound? Because it's not necessarily a classic lyrical pool from which you... Yeah. Um, well, I mean, uh, at a really, really, really young age, I realized that I was an atheist. And uh, I mean, I read up a lot. I just didn't want to sound like an ignorant person being an atheist at such a young age. So just read up as much as I could. And uh, What did you read up on? Like the Bible, other religious texts? Yeah, or? I, I read as much as possible from every religion that I could. And um, I, in the process, I got really into... Uh, Biblical disasters, religious conspiracies, and just uh, conspiracies in general. And um, with uh, the concept of the new CD, it's actually a religious conspiracy, pretty much. And it all revolves around this uh, biochip. It's called the Vera chip. It's a small chip being implanted in the webs of hands and on the arms. And it's being used for uh, identification and medical purposes and even for currency purposes. So, for currency? Yeah, so let's say you walk through a grocery store, because eventually they want to wipe out. Uh, papered money. So you'd go through a grocery store, buy your groceries, you'd walk out, you wouldn't pay with money, you'd get scanned. Okay. And it'd take the money out of your bank account, which is pretty interesting. So is that, is that, is that kind of, where does that come from? You said the religious um, conspiracy. Well, uh, there, are, there are a couple sides to it. For one, people feel that it's a religious, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I completely went ahead of myself. Uh, people feel that's an invasion of privacy for one. And the other side is uh, they fear that um, Religious leaders have actually come out in fear and in protest against this chip, fearing that's going to be the mark of the beast. Yeah, so... Uh, well, that's, that's kind of arbitrary. That seems to me tenuous. Yeah, I mean, it's really organized religion for you. I mean, it's somehow... Like, you could turn on uh, American TV. They have religious stations, a uh, Christian station. They talk about it all the time, talk shows about this biochip. And uh, it's actually already been used. Um, like, uh, it's being used in Japan very rarely, and the first full American family was just on the Jay Leno show in America, just talking about the chip casually. So why do you think it is? Because obviously there's, there'll be some reason that's not, there'll be obviously a non-religious reason for why it is that the religious groups have taken up. Is it a money thing? Is it a power thing? What is it that they have particularly chosen this, as opposed to death metal, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you know? It's, it just seems to me a weird one. There must be something about, um, I don't know, that the religious evangelists can't monetize or something, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, I mean, uh, there's a, in the book of Revelations when they talk about the mark of the beast, they talk about it very vaguely and it pretty much all adds up to the biochip. They just fear that this biochip... How so? Explain to me just quickly. Um, uh, that's on the spot. I wish I could recite. Uh, no, no, don't recite. I'm just, I'm just wondering like in terms of, I know the vagueness of the Bible and how people read it so literally. Yeah come up with such specifics, whereas actually it's kind of metaphor, it's, it's um, yeah. allegory, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So what is it, the mark of the beast, does it say, what are the, the parallels between this biochip and... They, uh, pretty much anyone who holds a mark of the beast is, um, uh, it's just, it just ties into the book of Revelations, I mean, and, uh, well, pretty much, uh, wow, getting really into it. Uh, where was I? We're talking about the chip, we're talking about the link between the yeah, chip sorry, sorry. and um, the anti-religion. Well, I mean, uh, Pretty much the Christian community just feel that this chip is going to be used for, uh, as the Antichrist tool to eventually control every man and woman in America and eventually the whole world. Okay, now I'm going to be flippant here about Americans, uh -huh. and I don't include everyone, but it's a sweeping statement, yeah. and I don't obviously include everyone, but it's sweeping, is that surely those sort of capitalism, um, uh, civil rights destruction of, we're going to monitor you, is kind of uh, conservative, which I always thought the religious... The religious groups were kind of conservative and, yeah. and, and right wing, and therefore would kind of be into that. It would be the liberals who would not be into it. Yeah, which is kind of a contradiction there. I'm. Well, I mean, America's like completely torn in half with this whole presidential thing, and I mean, I don't know. It's just weird in America if you really think about it. like coming over here and just kind of seeing others. It, it's just we kind of feel like as Americans coming out here that uh, in some countries, even in Europe, that they have just stuff against Americans just for the fact that so many bad things have happened so in America. Is it necessarily that you chose to pick up this kind of gauntlet lyrically as opposed to the whole worms and corpses yeah. and, you know, death metal, blah, blah, blah? I just didn't want to do the obvious, I guess. I mean, like I said, at a really young age, I've been really into just religious conspiracies, and this one was just something that was going on in America right now, and it just 
really interesting. If you read the lyrics of the first song, it's all about uh, the birth of the Antichrist, and it later follows him in his life and becoming a giant political leader, and it goes on to the Vera chip and the burning of paper bills and just using the, the biochip, and then the last two songs are actually just about the end of the world and just tied in the book of Revelations. Okay. So where would you say you were going to go next? I mean, have you, um, I mean the, the album's only just out. Yeah. And I'm not asking for the secrets of the next album, but in terms of stuff you're already thinking of, because obviously yeah. you can't just put a song like what you've just done in a little nugget and have it as yeah, is. Definitely. Surely it inspires the next move. I, I've been trying to think about it a lot, and honestly, um, I really want to think of something kind of as interesting as that whole conspiracy as uh, I did last time. So Surely it, has a, it all kind of continues. There's no end to where you can really go. Like, say, nanotechnology. Yeah. Um, dystopian futures, all those kind of things. Do you imagine that actually, if people from the 60s and 50s, in fact, post-war when yeah. it was all nice and no one was robbing anyone, that people would look at the future we have now as a dystopian future? Oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's actually really weird to think about. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Uh, so what is, in terms of uh, like things like MK Ultra and all the government testing, Yeah. is that something that you think about much, that it's still going on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, my thing, I've just been really into just technology and what could eventually harm in the future and just religion and just like being an atheist, I mean, organized religion for me is definitely a no-no. It's just, those are my two favorite things I guess to read on about.